Mile! 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 Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm super excited about this video because we are prepping my 2013 Mustang GT for boost. We are going to install a set of boundary oil pump gears and crank sprocket. Now this video won't be a tutorial or a complete step by step, but we do have a few tech tips here and there that we'll show you. But I'm um, pretty stoked about this one, so hope you enjoy. I would like to thank Matt and Jeremy for assisting me with this project. Having the extra set of hands definitely makes this process much, much faster. Now there's still some debate in the Mustang community whether or not you actually need oil pump gears when you go to add boost to a Coyote Mustang. Now my car is still a Gen 1 Coyote. The most common failures are known on the Gen 1s. So for me, it's just a little extra peace of mind, even though I know it doesn't guarantee any longevity in my setup. Okay, we're a little pause in the action here. We're going to talk about a couple things with the boundary gears and the oil pump uh, housing itself. We'll go ahead and remove the case and everything. We'll talk about torque spec and also about measuring clearance to make sure that this is going to function 100%. So we'll go ahead and take the case off the back, pull the old gears out, and show you guys what we're going to do to measure to make sure the case is good for the new gears. So what we're going to do, we're going to end up measuring between these four contact points. These are what center the entire oil pump housing onto the crank itself. And what has been found, there's um, been a couple cases where if these get worn at any point, anytime unevenly, it can end up actually causing chatter and actually damage your brand new pump gears and chew things up. So we're going to check and make sure that these are as close as possible. If there's any sort of variance that's too wide, then you end up having to replace the actual housing for the oil pump gears. Looks, this case looks like we're about 40.02 millimeters. And 40.06. So we should be more than okay with this. We're not going to have any issues causing any chatter in the gears. Be able to install the new boundary gears and have this thing get going. All right, so now we're all lubricated here. All of our kind of faces are lubricated. Go ahead and put our outside cover back on. And we're going to get our bolts put back in. Just in case anybody's wondering, these are T30. 
bolts that go in here and from everything we've been able to find torques back on these should be about 90 inch pounds any particular sequence I haven't found any sequencing for it I just kind of do it the way you normally would with anything else just kind of go opposed mm -hmm. so if we start, start over here this, yeah. then we're gonna go over to here and here here and just kind of work our way around Perfect. Okay, that's going to wrap up this portion of the video because we moved immediately into installing Boost. So that's going to wrap this portion up. If you like my content, please like, please share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that way you don't miss out on any new content coming to the channel. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video. Scott, stop! <laughs> no, it's Scott Creed. Get it right. <laughs>